for advertisers to decide when they should be using mobile, um, I think it's different for each industry vertical. Um, but more and more across industry verticals, it's now. Um, the risk of not doing it and not being ahead of the game and not having the information and the results uh, now to improve in the future um, is large. I think things are moving so quickly right now and mobile is poised to become such an integral part of all advertising campaigns. Uh, if you get too far behind from an action and not at least testing and getting some uh, initial results, um, you might find yourself uh, well behind competitors um, as the economy recovers and as marketing budgets expand. Uh, so five years ago our group was looking at mobile and, and trying to um, see when was the right time to come in and when would it be viable. Um, a lot of the barriers and complications in the ecosystem have been broken down. Um, adoption is is uh, rapid, which falls in line with all other media, starting in radio, which took about 40 years to get to around 50 million, to television, which took around 13, to the internet, which took around four. Uh, so mobile is really just in that line. Um, ad networks and other mobile service firms are really breaking down sort of the barriers and complications of, of devices and carriers. Um, that previously prevented effectively and efficiently doing it. Um, so right now, if you can, and, and there are some legal restrictions with pharmaceutical companies and industry specifics, um, but if you can, you should really be at least creating a strategy and a roadmap and, and starting to test and get it in the water. What we're finding is uh, that mobile is becoming more and more of uh, an integral part in any campaign to either make static or traditional more interactive and more effective. Um, the media landscape is getting so fractured and attention is so scarce as people are multitasking and avoiding advertising that uh, by integrating mobile into it, it really um, creates a more effective advertising campaign. What we found is that it's a great way to get users to opt in and, and to do CRM as far as opting in with their email or a mobile device or extending the information that you can give um, a user from a digital sign um, as well as some of the new expandable banners are becoming more functional um, so not only providing a message but then also allowing them to find a store or play a, a video um, so it really it, it depends on the client and the message and the campaign um, but with ad networks and all the different service providers, everything that mobile is evolving into, um, there's almost so many options that you can do. It's, it's a matter of choosing which one and, and how to do it and align that with your objectives. It's a device that's on you 95% of the time, 96% of the time, um, that it just works and integrates with every other channel, really being the connective tissue it makes things that aren't interactive, interactive. It makes things that are interactive even more interactive. Um, but I'd probably say most of all is just seeing the iPhone and what it can do and how it's exploded content consumption. 50-60% um, of uh, the Aunt Mobile ads served online or to uh, iPhones. Um, the experience is so much better and you've seen that in six months just in response to that every other smartphone has come out with a similar device uh, application store opened up some of its wall gardens with the web um, so really the iPhone isn't in isolation or it's really just a beacon of what the future of, av of mobile advertising can be which is more measurable which is a better user experience which is a lot more content consumption so for me, uh, uh, the true promise of one-to-one -one marketing, I think, lies in the iPhone as a connected device, and you could see the possibilities from, from the iPhone alone. The mobile web and, and ads on, on, on websites or on applications are really the only thing that's on the page. You have the user's undivided attention. 